Okay, here's a demo of my HP 302A wave analyzer, circa 1959. Got it at the junkyard for 25 bucks. It was missing some parts. Got it working. This thing is was originally called a harmonic wave analyzer, the earlier instrument, and then later they call them a selective level voltmeter. And what it does is it reads, you can take a complex wave and input it and read the harmonics, the repeating frequencies in that wave. And it's got this frequency, so it's got a voltmeter that reads the voltage of the parts of the wave, and then it's got this frequency control knob. And it only goes up to 50 kilohertz, which is basically the audio region. And it's got this cool high-speed tuning knob here. And then, you know, your range and maximum voltage inputs knobs with these mechanisms. And the way you tune this thing is... I got a symbol generator with a 1 kilohertz sine wave going in. And you tune this knob across, we'll start at the fundamental frequency, which is 10,000. And look for a signal, which is right there. And it's very fine tuning, you tune that to the maximum. Very fine, you can read this knob almost to one hertz. And that's reading 10 kilohertz. And the second one is reading 10 kilohertz. This is the input, this is the output. And then tune it to the next one. Then when you tune it off of that frequency, you don't get anything. You only get a little blip right there. And then tune it to the next harmonic, which is going to be 20,000. And you don't see anything at first, you got to turn the scale way down because it's a much smaller amplitude. There it is right there. And you can see that that frequency is exactly double the other frequency. And if I get it stable, it's right at 20,000 when the incoming is 10,000. It's a little unstable at that point. And then you go to the third one. A little blip there, there it is. There's three times 30,000, the third harmonic, and so on. There's the fourth tiny little blip there. And you can see that's not real stable the way it hooked up right now. But there you go measures each of the harmonics individually, and it does basically what a spectrum analyzer does for an RF signal, is give you all the different components of that signal. And the inside of this instrument is interesting, that it was one of the first, it was the first big HP instrument that used transistors, all transistors. And it was kind of transitional in that it still uses a tube style chassis. And the tubes, the oscillators that were in it, it has these quartz oscillators. It has these really nicely laid out circuit boards. And you can see how they implemented the transistors in this is they have these wiring boards with capacitors and resistors and inductors and then the transistors are just strung across the boards are sort of hanging in space very well very well organized and very easy to work on and the back you can see is like a tube chassis and it had glass tubed uh, 100 kilohertz oscillators and I couldn't buy them readily cheaply so I made my own I just soldered a solid state oscillator so this thing's really all soldered it's no glass now so anyways there it is it's still got the tube sockets even though it doesn't have tubes
There you go.